Okay, so what kind of person would make a good virtual bookkeeper? Okay, um, <laughs> if you are, um, you have to be a go getter. Mm -hmm. I consider myself kind of an introvert, but um, I know what I need for my clients. So I have to be yeah. a go getter. I, um, anyone who can work off of a list, um, have an end of month checklist, those, ty those type of things Ooh, yeah. are very yeah. valuable um, in the bookkeeping world and scheduling, be able, being able to schedule. Now, I don't naturally go to a schedule. Like I don't like to be confined to a schedule, Either. but I have learned with the bookkeeping. I know my Tuesday clients, I have to reconcile their accounts every Tuesday or I'm done. Like my whole week's going to be off. So, oh yeah. You just get behind. Yes. Okay. So you have to be able to keep a schedule. And I want to address this too, Emily, because I did see a couple of the comments from last night in the group about people asking, well, how do you know if you're qualified? Cause, and yeah. I want to tell you what I tell um, anyone because every person is different. Every situation is different. But there's two questions that I ask. One is, do you understand double entry accounting? And if you don't, go Google it, read it, kind of, you know, educate yeah. yourself on it and yeah. see if you understand double entry accounting. Or the second question I ask is, have you ever done any work or volunteer work in an accounting function? Like, have you ever processed payroll? Have you ever reconciled a bank account for a company? Have you ever paid bills for a company? Have you ever received mm -hmm. money and deposited it into QuickBooks for a company? If you've ever had your hands in any of those type of accounting functions and you loved it, then you're probably qualified to do it. The resources are there to be able to, to um, sharpen your skills and to learn, yeah. you know, more of detail things. So I wanted to address that. And you don't have to say yes to both of those questions. You can do one either or. Okay. Um, yep. If you, if you are good at either one of those, um, then you're probably qualified to reach out into the virtual bookkeeping world. How would you suggest somebody get started? Um, um, you're, I say I tell people to volunteer and get experience. And that is exactly yeah. <laughs> what I say too. Absolutely, yeah. there are nonprofits who would love a volunteer, yeah, and to learn. And that's how I got my feet wet into it and realized right. I really do know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. So um, nonprofits. Um, if your child is in like baseball or does dance and they need a treasurer to keep up with all the funds that are coming in, get your hands into it. You know, QuickBooks yeah. Online is inexpensive. Five bucks a month or 20. If you get five accounts, it's $25 a month. Um, get an online account, um, throw the, the, the fundraiser money in there and start learning how you account for each Ooh, transaction. Yeah. So uh, volunteering and then asking, like I always say this exercise too, and this has helped a lot of people look at your Facebook friends list and in within your businesses, if you have a business page already for VAs or whatever, um, pick 10 people and I promise you at least one of those 10 people either cut hair or have a lawn care business or something mm -hmm. and you can say, hey, be completely honest. I've never had a full functioning um, bookkeeping client, but I'm starting this side of my business. Would you be willing to work with me for 30, 60 days? Let me offer my services at a lower rate while I learn this and get my feet wet. You've got to go after it. You have yes. to and just go for it. And try and find a, yeah, that first client. And once you get that first client, um, and we all make mistakes, we all um, don't do things perfectly the first time. But what I love about accounting is you can typically fix anything that you do mess up. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> you can you can reach out to me or to a friend and say, yeah. hey, I did this in their books and I'm not sure how to make it right. Yes. There, there's an answer. You can find the answer. The other question I had for you is do is QuickBooks the only is like the big software we need to know? Is there anything else that anybody should learn? What I have decided is not to learn multiple software. So okay. I choose QuickBooks for any um, basic business. I do have a nonprofit software I use for churches and that type of thing. Oh, okay. But um, I've, I learned that software 10, 15 years ago. So I use that. But 90% 
of the market uses QuickBooks. And there's other really good ones out there. As an accountant, I don't love QuickBooks. But if I want okay. to be able to function with my client, I have to know QuickBooks is what I have found in my own personal business. That totally so, makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I have learned QuickBooks and that's the one I go to. Don't not take a client because they have desktop QuickBooks and they really want to keep it in there. Say you find a heating and air company that's going to uh, you know pay you virtually to do their business. Um, I encourage, there's a tool that you can use, and I teach this in my paid coaching group, is Screen Connect is the software, and I can actually oh. get into my client's computers at their office and do everything I need to do on their computer. Um, it's all virtual. Oh, and okay. I can get to their computer. Ooh, and you, and teach, you teach that in your group? I do. I awesome. Do. Yep. That's such a good hack that yep. none of us would know if we were starting yes. out. So what's your background in? Do you have an accounting background? I do. Um, I have a four-year accounting degree, and then I also have my master's. Um, I did not get my CPA license, and I like to kind of bring that out because I discovered after getting into doing the bookkeeping, I discovered the decent living that I could make off of just doing bookkeeping, and I didn't need my CPA license to do that. Um, so I decided not to pursue my CPA license anymore. I was done with that. That was behind me. And I have been able to build a business, um, profitable business without that license. Um, now I do have women who, um, do bookkeeping, virtual bookkeeping, and they are just really hands-on learning the bookkeeping skill set. So I do have education, but not everyone has to have like a full four year college education to do bookkeeping. So I get swamped with clients who want help with SEO and building sales funnels and mm -hmm. social media. And then I'm also, I get hammered with people looking for bookkeepers. I, mm -hmm. I do. And a lot of people, yeah, they like to hire in person. So right. since I am a military wife, I can't help but do this. We move so much. And I think I've moved 11 times in 17 years. So I think that if I were coaching a military wife as a bookkeeper, I would say get those local clients while mm -hmm. where you are now mm -hmm. to that offering, like network with the business owners, yes. get that one client, like Vicki said. And then when you move, you take them with you. Yes. And yes. you're going to be, that's just going to, it's just going to snowball from there. Mm -hmm. And it's easy for, it's easier for me, even though I work virtually to make those connections face to face. Cause mm -hmm. I could see people might be scared to, sh to do to hire a bookkeeper, right? Yes. I mean, yep. that's kind of scary Absolutely. to let somebody dig in your finances. Absolutely. So yes. if they can trust you and see you face to face, mm -hmm. like you mm -hmm. could start it off virtually, but like yes. really take it virtually. Yes. One of my clients I currently have started out that way. I was, um, I actually went into his office and started and then I kind of transitioned him to virtual. So oh, that is that. absolutely do not, if you can get that first client, even if it's not virtual, don't, don't say no, yeah. if you're okay with it, if you're in control and you can set your hours and go into their office when you can and transition it to a virtual bookkeeping client. Yes. And that's exactly what I teach too, as far mm -hmm. as, um, you know, getting that one client. Absolutely. So are there any other places somebody could go to get clients online? Um, it, there's lots of groups out there, bookkeeping groups, like QuickBooks has a group, I believe, and just getting in and making those connections. Um, like you said, you know, if you have friends who are VAs, um, I always yeah. encourage you to go where um, you can make those connections.